Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the 14th Omnia podcast. My name is Esk, and I am one of the leaders of Omnia. Yo, my name is Max, or Hey Bokshiwe. Um, I'm, what, what's my rank again here? Admiral, Admiral in Omnia. Washed UAM speedrunner and YouTuber. Yo, I'm Istra, and I'm a Bronze Star in Omnia. Yo, it's Malik, aka MLK. I am a general in Omnia, also known as almost 9,000 EHP. And um, yeah, I stream on Twitch and I'm happy to be here. I'm Syria. I'm a corporal in Omnia. Cool. So before we get started with the questions, there's a little bit of clan news. So Omnia will be hosting a 72-hour comp in May. There will be a few more details coming out on a tweet shortly or just after the podcast. Um, it will be teams with a draft that will be the weekend before, I believe. Um, captains will be announced closer to the time and there will be an icon for the winning team. So first question you got was um what do you guys think about the Valamore expansion pretty boring honestly well for mains at least i feel there's not a whole lot to it the only thing that a chance of being viable was the rc shit but thankfully they got nerfed um the hunter's rumors are pretty fun i think and they're kind of uh it's kind of viable it's the same problem that every hunter method has because you can't really train range to virgins so it's not really something people are gonna do if they're just hard skilling but uh, it's pretty good for a lot of builds i've heard you can just like average 200k like all day apparently yeah I've seen, i think it's been a lot of iron men doing it i've seen screenshots that go up to like 240k from like expert rumor abuse but i think like 220k is realistic I think there's a weird thing going on at the moment with the Kebit contracts that you get because the rare item is the same for all of them. So you can do a different type of Kebit, still get the item and then complete the higher tier with it. And you can also abuse the PT loot drops so you can get like a bunch of them. I don't really know if it's like super viable, but people have been kind of hyping it up. Wait, what? Say that again? Um, if your inventory is full and you get the pity drop, it goes yeah. on the floor and stays yeah. there. So if you get a back-to-back task, you can basically just do it with no time spent, uh, essentially. Uh, let's see. Fuck that. Fuck all that shit. I'm gonna be real. They got me fucked up with that, with the whole Sunfire shit. I couldn't mess with that, bro. They <laughs> changed it. Nah, they changed it, and then they changed it back, and then they changed it again. And I knew yeah. in the blog post that they firstly said, they said, oh, we want it to be this and that. But when you did the math, it didn't add up. And then they went back and corrected it. Now it's like, it's still not even anything. I wasted all this time planting stupid ass Belladonna to do some stupid ass dynamite stuff so I could do this stuff. <laughs> Bro, it, it ended up being for nothing. But now, but you know, anyways, you know, I'm happy that all the, all the people who are, you know, doing their, uh, what's that, what's that new mining stuff they got going on over there? Oh, the cow uh, fight stuff. For like 50k, the calcium yeah, bone mining. <laughs> bone mining is getting yeah, the prayer it XP. It's gonna be pretty good for Iron Man and um, I don't know people that just don't want to. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. <laughs> like, well, super baited by the, yeah, like the, the most sunfire recent rings. sunfire changes. Because yeah, I thought they were already nerfed to eight XP or nine XP. In the most recent blog, they said they were doubling it. Yeah, I thought that shit was going to 18 XP per rune. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So I like insta bought Sunfire Splinters, but <laughs> they just hadn't said in the previous blog post that they already had uh, doubled it from 4.5. Yeah, well, they yeah, yeah because they took it that. they took it down to four and a half, and then said, "Oh, we're going to put it to nine and then never actually did. So, what? Yeah. Two weeks just later, shouldn't... they say they double it, and everyone's fucking losing their shit over it. Oh, oh, also, yeah, with man. the with the hunter contracts, I've been seeing a lot of people streaming it. Like, um, I was leave their names out, but like, I've been seeing a lot of people streaming hunter contracts, getting over two hundred k an hour, like perma the whole day. Like, just yeah. And I think it's, I think it's, I think it's neat. I mean, 
I like the pet personally. I think I'll do it before I finish Hunter, but I mean, you know, it's it's all up in the air. There's some variety for Hunter rather than just being like perma locked to the same thing the whole time. It doesn't look very fun when I look at it. It's like, I don't know, fucking catching kebits and shit. Dude, I don't think like, I've enjoyed it. The lows, they love it, man. The lows are all man, over. And the lows there. love Varlo more. I'm telling you, bro. I'm trying to be real, but y'all trying to be like, be real. Like, these people are out here mining 50, 51K an hour, and they just, they, oh, man, bro. Hold up. Nah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just love a slice of crazy, anything. Bro. Love the they contracts. Didn't have that back in my love day. rumors. <laughs> But it's okay. I think shooting stars, in my opinion, are still better if you're going to go that route because you can use it at you can use the stardust on the main account. I wouldn't. I don't know. Uh, Iron Man might do something different, but you can use the stardust in your ring and get higher XP power doing granite. Or if you just don't even want to do, I ain't doing that. But if you even then look, if you, even if you don't want to do granite, you can still use that thing in the mining guild on the iron ore, and you know. I mean, yeah, they're whatever. Doing that. Like, I think it's like doing none of that. Whatever, they value crafting the or prayer more, really. Because like you use the dust on crafting, or you can use that the bone shit or whatever the fuck <laughs> on prayer. I saw my like, remaining yeah. dust. <laughs> prayer is kind of useless for Irons, because you get one to one from Slayer anyway. So yeah, you got the yeah. ashes now, which absolutely broken. Waiting on more level threes to. Get some combat XP, maybe I'll gain some ranks. <laughs> Is there any shooting star locations in Valamore? Probably not. I think I so. Seen any. I'll probably oh, add really? them in eight months' time without saying anything. Oh, dude, I hate when I do that, man. Why Why can't they just ever make like a good update like straight away on launch? <laughs> like, come on, bro. I don't know. You mean you don't it's want 80% fully released. later? It's only part one. There was quite a lot of stuff that they... Um, <laughs> deemed as out of scope yet they never mentioned it until after the release there was like the the infinite whistle the never-ending waves in the coliseum agility course uh, agility oh. course there's so much stuff I'm, that was pitched and then they I'm were like so back i'm actually so mad about the agility course because they added like an addendum to a blog they made it like huge and bold I did after the blog was already out, so I had like credit, and they said like, "Oh yeah, the agility course isn't coming," and that was like the one thing I really cared about. Yeah. They they been they been making changes to these blogs and not saying nothing about it. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like <laughs> just get it right, just get it right. That's all I have. I don't like you know. It's like clocking into work, thinking you about to do one thing, and then they they throw you like five other things. This doesn't make any sense. That's like an average not Wednesday. Good. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Wasn't the bone course meant to be good for Amylase? I think that's what I saw. It was like meant to be Bisphor. So I imagine that would have been decent fine. So unless I'm wrong. I mean, it probably wouldn't have like mattered at all because stems aren't really efficient to get anyway. But it's oh, okay. it's just insane quality of life if you can like actually print stems. Yeah. It's just a really shame that hard, like the course. For me, it's it's a shame because every update that comes now, it's like, oh, okay, well, which bit isn't actually going to come? Yeah. It's not like, oh, okay, that looks like a pretty cool update. I wonder when it's going to come out. It's like, right, what are they going to not have time for? What are they going to miss off? It's got to be great for sailing as well, I think. I don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> How long was it since we last heard anything that's saying? It was August, the last blog? Yeah, but it should be yeah, it should be very soon that we hear more. Hear more. We're I'm still working on it. <laughs> that's all yeah, I can say. Certified source right there. Yeah, yeah. it's just going to be a we're still working on it with a thumbs up emote. Uh, <laughs> pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> I I hope that they do spend the time to actually flesh out Valamore now that they've sort of already put the first. I don't hope. Well, I'd hope they don't do is they just ignore the first section they've released now and just keep adding sections that so will have, yeah. what, three or four half-finished areas and, um, like, nothing, like, missing 60% of the content. I'm pretty sure the bone course is, like, the giant skeleton in part yeah. one. Yeah, so yeah, yeah like... Colossal worm 
remains. Is what yeah, instead of four yeah. parts of Valamore, we're going to have eight parts. It's just going to take like the same amount of time as they are to become good. Just years Hopefully of them working on it. it. Hopefully I can finish before all this stuff's over. <laughs> No, I'm tired of this man. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, nah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. <clears throat> I think we'll see. I think there's probably gonna be what the next month is just gonna be Valamore tweaks. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Also, like some other good con skilling content. I think everything else is just shit. Good skilling content? New? That's never happened. Out, uh, well, that, out I think the artifact oh, yeah, stuff support, actually yeah. looked kind of cool on Valamore. Like, I wouldn't mind if that place was like... Uh, I don't I actually don't know what the XP and R was, but when I was just was looking like, at it, it looked kind of cool. Yeah, it wasn't like the... that. It, it was kind of like for, for mid-level, low-level. It was, yeah. was alright, but... Not everything 51k an hour, remember that. Hmm? 50k an hour, remember that. 50? 50k. Come at the mines? Just chilling at the mines. AFK, okay. bro. But they're going to finish the skill, man. It's okay. Yeah, they also added the uh, RS3 style pickpocketing without sort of really saying much else about it. Oh, yeah, um, like... I'm waiting for how long that's going to be until it's rolled out to all pickpocketing. <laughs> Old school pickpocketing. That's the dev team and what they think is possible with pickpocketing. Wasn't it um, the AFK pickpocketing in leagues? Yeah. Yeah, so that probably did come into the game because of leagues, I would have had to guess. Because the players probably loved that shit and <laughs> asked for it. At least they didn't put it on everything, but. Yeah, it would have been kind of wild if they just rolled that out for every pickpocketable who's, NPC. Who's writing that? Who is writing that on, like, a, on the surveys underneath when they ask for feedback? Yo, think of remember what y'all did with leagues? Y'all should put that in the like, come on, like who is saying this? That's everybody, man. That's crazy. It's not me. Would I it didn't really say be that. a problem <laughs> if it's like very like slow compared to normal pickpocketing? Like that's I how it is in RS3. Not... I don't think that's like bad. Like But then like then the Normandies will complain that it's too slow, then in a few years it'll get quicker and quicker. That's Normandy. how all the shit starts, man. Yeah. Like it. <laughs> It's shit at the start, and then it gets better and better, then it becomes, yeah. like, too good and OP. It's it's a slippery slope. It definitely is, but... I mean, the easiest way... Too far down on the slope, to be honest. The easiest way to fix it would be to make it so you can always fail to pickpocket. So... I feel like it's really a feeling. If you're gonna make it so you automatically pickpocket, just have it till you fail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you definitely want that. You don't want redwoods for thieving. Oh, good Why not? For five minutes. Why not? Yeah, true. Good question. Why not? Look where we're at right now. Look, look where we're at right now. We're at. Look where we are right now. Okay. I don't see the problem with fifty k. Like, I don't see a problem with fifty k. Like, thieving is already one of the fastest skills in the yeah. game. With some of the most like, some of the most different ways to train it that everybody can just do. Anybody can just pick up. A scepter and just go do pyramid plunder and like get over 200k like what i'm saying is what's like what's so bad about like fit, like 50k afk just looking away from the screen pickpocketing i mean i don't see a problem every it. skill needs like just an afk option i said that with my mine. opinion they don't want to hear me they don't want to hear me <laughs> plus there's like arty knights already like i know that shit is just already afk we could get some we should start looking at afk hunter too you got the you ball. Already, yeah, I might write that in the next survey. Oh, we got yeah. Monkey Hunter, man. Monkey Hunter, yeah, ball. Monkey Hunter, Hunter. Monkey Hunter like one access it. See, that's the thing. Then they changing all this. Oh, I guess skilling rebalance is a whole other thing. That's a question coming up. That's later. Well, I think the Coliseum shit was good, though. Yeah, that, I didn't see many it, negative and... things about that. Yeah. Like, I think uh, the only negative shit I really saw was about the invocations, yeah. which I think they said they're not going to do invocations anymore. I think Mod yeah. Kieran said that they're going to stray away from it. They've. I think there's a like few a that they're rebalancing. Mod Kieran, Mod Danos. I think the only other thing I saw was people complaining about the amount of splinters that Iron Man needed. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I did see that 
took a very long time. Like on Reddit, I mean, a bit too long. For regular Irons, it's kind of like a weird thing to complain about because you don't need to like corrupt the fucking quiver. You can just use it until they add something better to the game to get splinters. Yeah, they did. I think they changed it so you can trade in extra quivers for splinters, which will obviously speed it up quite Wait, a bit. Actually, did I do I that? I don't know why y'all mad. Yeah. A lot of y'all already bought all the splinters because y'all were doing some <laughs> Yeah, you can trade it in either for a pet chance or for... <laughs> how how many splinters I think. That's a crazy I fever dream for y'all. <laughs> don't know off the top of my head. 4,000. Oh yeah, 4,000. So that's just like completing a Colosseum is like an extra guaranteed like 3 mil. Yeah. If you trade oh, it in and don't want the pet chance. What the fuck? But well, surely the splinters of it is crash now, right? Uh, like yeah, I checked yesterday, I think. Unfire splinters. Yeah. It's a shame that the runes were absolutely unbalanced to start with, but that was just an oversight. I mean, what even is the XP and air on them now? The uh, uh, 80k solo? It's trash. Oh, it was like 85. Come on. I feel like it'd be like, like I think a a good place for the Sunfire runes would like just been just above ZMI. I think that would have been like a decent. They technically are. ZMI with PRS is around 80k, and as they move the birds to the laps shorter, it probably is about 85k an hour now for Sunfire solo. (laughs) Yeah, but you've got to pay like two mil. You've got to pay like two mil an hour to actually do Sunfire runes. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, it does cost a million dollars. If it didn't cost heaps, like I feel like it would have been a decent alternative to ZMI. Like, uh, I, th- I think they should have, should have done balancing. like a completely different thing with those runes, man. Yeah, with ZM- like, to actually... ZMI? Yeah, because ZMI is like super AFK, so I feel like you're putting a lot more effort in than ZMI when you're doing Sunfire. But I thought, yeah, I think but I thought one of the big things was that people like to fletch with ZMI. Can you do that with Sunfires? Like, I mean, uh, like, you like not like as easy uh, and comfy really. in a way, right? Well, no. The distance the whole running point, is the whole reason long. people the whole point that a lot of people liked Sunfire Runes was because of how chill it was and like how like they, there was it, just like there was no binding neck. There was like a bunch of other things that, that came into that of course, but also like yeah. I, I think that Yeah, it was if you're doing more ZMI, you're chill, probably fletching. It was more chill than lavas when it was similar XP. But now it's similar XP to ZMI, it's not as chill as yeah. ZMI is. Like, no one's going to do it, ignoring the fact that it costs heaps of money to do it, but I feel like maybe, like, 90k would be, like, a decent area for it, because it is more intensive. I think it's DMI. 22 GP and XP loss at the moment. Yeah, that's just insane. And that's, with the, that's with the full outfit as well. And isn't that the only way the runes come in? So just no one's going to be making those runes. So <laughs> yeah, like, so far it is, yeah. Thinking. Yeah, so... Don't really get their thinking. They pull Maybe Omar will make a that. return at the Sunfire Open. <laughs> oh, he's been gaming. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Uh, any other last bits on Valamore? Or are we happy to move on? I can't remember anything. Good luck to everyone getting your quivers. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. Watching y'all quiver. Don't get Doom Scorpion. <laughs> cool. So, next topic, which will probably be a longer and louder one, is the March app changes that were rolled out for, I think, basically every game mode. I think, I don't know, maybe Irons didn't get anything, but I know Level 3, Main, and every other Snowflake in between did. UAM as well. Yeah, okay, free I, to play level three. Free to play I level three. Snowflakes. Can't forget them. <laughs> yeah. I need to pull up that's not even a snowflake. That's just the snowball. That's all the free to play is a snowball. Big old snowman. <laughs> They're all, they love their snow out there. You gotta, I don't know if you've dabbled with the <laughs> snow methods esque. No. Some good, met, some good metas over there, I'll tell you that. I used to do snow fishing on like my phone when I do like three tick fishing because I was like I found it easier than herb tar. That shit was kind of based. Yeah. One day I'll be like you and have 200 more fishing. Maybe. <laughs> what did you y'all think go about down the... the change log of the main app and like? Yeah. Let me. I can bring it up. Probably not on stream, but I can at least talk through it. 
I feel like most of the changes just like little small ones. Like yeah, it was like small things like attack went up 50k, but I think that's just very minor. And then there were a few ratios changed with player bonuses. I think the big changes were bringing in artifacts. Yeah, and which, RC no, I, being 280. Yeah. I'll see to 280 is thing. I think Enlund's onto I something. Like I'll see to duo. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <clears throat> what are the six hours for RC? Well, I've I've seen a lot of people just getting high. I feel like RC was always low. Like people kind of always knew that. Um, six hour wise, rank one is five runners, and then yeah, rank two and three are I think around the two eighty mark. And then there's no other records that are around that at all. No, I swear that was like a little higher than 280. Got one tick potions too. Don't forget about that. Yeah. yeah true. It was I... the. Kind of crazy. What did Seb get? Because I think Seb like did some inventory shit that let him get higher rates. Seb was 315. Yeah, so. That, that's pretty good. Um, like, I feel like people have just gotten better RC yeah. and plugins and shit, and your bot is just, I mean, your run is just bot now, so there's also that. So I'm not too surprised allegedly. that the rate's gone up. Yeah, allegedly. allegedly. <laughs> so uh, I don't fully know what I think of the change, considering I've never done 04, so. But... Yeah, I think it. I think the decision was sort of shifting away from the what's most realistic to what's gonna be of as close to efficient like perfect efficiency as possible, but with like a slight allowance. Yeah. It's the same sort of thinking behind the wood cutting and you take fishing rates. I feel like some rates are like kind of not close to perfect, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how close to perfect that Runecraft rate is. One thing I found weird was that <laughs> Agi went up when you, they made you start banking. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you this bad. much. They were, they were changing, they were changing crafting from just your normal, your normal, like, none. I don't know. I don't know what mean thing I can say about 3 2 crafting, but <laughs> they, they were going to change it to that, right? And I'm like, whatever, but the fact that they were gonna you were gonna add a three tick action and the initial proposal was gonna be more efficient than what it is right now in terms of like uh percentage of efficiency that you can get doing the method when you're adding a whole three tick action to the to the to each inventory. I was like, if anything, percentage of efficiency should either remain the same or be lower than what it was previously. And it just doesn't make sense, but I think that was just kind of like a weird change. It's like what, Add a little chat there. It, and then like they just added it. I don't think too much thought went into it. Yeah, I know. It's like, oh, fuck it, we'll just add it. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the deaths. <laughs> I think the only main complaint I've seen from people is due to the temple limitations, it's now impossible to get one-to-one -one if you have certain skills already done. Yeah, like what, so fire making thieving, if fire making is your last skill it's impossible to get one to one and if thieving is your last skill it's impossible <laughs> to get one to one you're capped at about 0.6 in both of them and that's purely due to a temple limitation wasn't like so, other skills with bonus xp like you just get zero for them so um, that doesn't sound bad to me i mean that's no, every other skill, if it is your last skill and it has ep, it is possible to get one to one doing some sort of method. You made your bed, lay in it. Yeah. The <laughs> issue is temple can only handle two methods per skill. So for fire making, it's artifacts with fire making and then fire one. It then doesn't have the ability to account for G lines after that. And then it's the same for thieving. I think it goes artifacts with ancient brews and then artifacts with fire making. It then doesn't account for plunder. 
that's purely just because of a temple limitation. It hasn't been coded in yet. Question in regards to the um, main rates. Does it take into account hardwood trees, or is that not a thing? For farming? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think like, the farming. Interesting. Like the new one? Somewhere. Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's what I was going to That's. I mean, in general right now, but then I was going to say, so y'all got some changes to do. Yeah, no, Apparently. I think it does. Well, are you saying, like, does the farming rate have the one new mahogany tree? Is that what you're No, asking? no, I was asking if it has if it has hardwoods in general, at period at all, included yeah, in the it, rate. It definitely would. I'd have seen so. I... For so long. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Yeah, I mean... A lot the of things are... Have been, up, went to, like, 2.5, I, I think. That's significant, but I think that, um... Seeing that something's been around for so long, it, it should be assumed is... It's like, I mean, I don't know. A lot of the early game stuff is just miscalculated in terms of like questing XP and little minor things. And they've been there for like ages. But like, yeah, I mean, you know, just, who cares it's just is what it is. Yeah, who cares? Who cares? I know. That's what it was. <laughs> Actually, it's it all evens out because you get over you... another shit. No, I think it's more accurate than you, than you think. Like with my speedrun, I was kind of getting one to one for like the first bit. It wasn't as crazy. They didn't make. Uh, I think they did make a decent amount of changes to the low stuff now. When I'm just like looking at it. Yeah. But yeah. Even, like it. it wasn't that bad. There's like new brackets added in, and oh yeah, shout uh, out to the one defense community getting their getting their bracket in there. <laughs> Dude, they only have like two different skills or something. They have they have edgy and their RC is a little bit slower and. Slayer is hey, different. Hey, don't forget they hey they got preserved though. Quit playing with them, bro. Preserve. <laughs> I don't know if they included that in there. I gotta look. I think what do you think about the level three rates then? I'm okay. Lay it uh, out. Uh well, I mean, um, yeah, I'm I'm all for them. I hope that uh keep maintaining, you know. <laughs> I think the change to that, duo uh, was quite a surprise for Yeah, it is a lot it is people. surprising. I think it's surprising given the fact, I mean, like a lot of people won't even be able to see the conversation that was, that occurred within that, because I mean, I mean, not everybody has access to that channel, but I think that, uh, like, uh, the fact that Slayer was being brought up and people were wanting to add 10,000 or well, eight to 10,000. I mean, the people that were saying 10,000 hours, they were training it inefficiently and when you can get a higher rate than what they were proposing according to JCW. But anyways, I mean, they were the same people that were saying that they don't want, um, they don't want zero plus four lavas. I was, I mean, I'm like, whatever. I mean, me personally, the room crafting thing didn't really affect me because I'm just going to play the game. How I'm going to play regardless. I did vote yes, because I was like, whatever. <laughs> and like, it's not realistic for me with the current stuff that I have. So I'm like, if we're voting on this stuff, yeah, whatever. Fuck whatever bro but like i think it was just i don't know if we're just talking about runecraft thing i mean it's like yeah like everyone voted for it to go to duo or whatever and but no one really like helped to even make the the rates at the very end of it so like didn't it go to duo because killer said like you guys don't have enough money i mean enough time to make the money for 04 like didn't he say well it was it was it was it was proposed initially however you know with the website, you know, not everybody's active on the website, so it's going to be changed back to O plus four after more conversation. Is occurred. artifacts coming in level three, right? That and in the O plus four are coming, I believe, and um, yeah, but I've I've been kind of burnt out with those people, so I'm, I'm letting them do it. I mean, they can make. But the, the race, crazy though. thing is, was if Slayer did come into level three, it would just come like. You'd have to do like a runner's BF. You do like O five yeah, RC hey, because you just have all the time of the but, world to make but the money. But hey, but hey, so but insane. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't see. I see more people doing. Literally, I see more people who aren't even in the HLC doing Dolo Blast Furnace. Or I'm sorry, yeah, Dolo Blast Furnace, not even Runner Blast Furnace. Then I see doing um, like a lot of the other methods that are that are ep. Like, I mean, I mean, if they did add. Like Dolo Blast Furnace, I wouldn't really care. I'd be like, okay, someone should figure the rate out or whatever. It's the same for mains and level threes, obviously. However, I mean, like, yeah, but there's just a lot of uh, inconsistency there. 
with the argument of the whole Slayer thing, considering that, you know, you kind of, it's like, how are you going to argue for all this extra time onto the account build for um, something that even in RS3, it wasn't even looked as as a 200 millable skill for, 200 mil skill for the account build. It was looked as more of a cosmetic thing. People were just grinding for 99 in those days either way. Versus, um, and then you're like, oh, but I don't want to, we don't want O plus four lavas. I mean, me personally, I just know that I'm not going to do O plus four. I'm going to do some of it, obviously, but I mean, it, but the change itself didn't really affect my number because I don't have much room crafting and this is what it is to me. So I was like, whatever. I was, I was rather vocal about the Slayer stuff. I thought that was cringe. I think it's some low stuff. I mean, it's another reason why I just kind of don't really, uh, like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I got a little victimized by those people, bro. They're just like this <laughs> chatting about like, they're chatting about like, 8,000 hours when they don't even have 8,000 hours in the game, bro. Like, it's so annoying, bro. Like, like, bro, just, how about you just, how about you just look at The Rock, bro, and Varlamore and keep mining and get and go 50k. Just keep quiet, bro. Like, pipe down, bro. <sighs> what it is. But, yeah, I mean, I think the rest of the changes were good. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm down for the, the herb lore changes. I mean, I guess y'all were too. I don't know y'all's main conversation, how that went with the one tick herb lore. It does take away a lot of the um, money making, I, not a lot of the money making, but you know what I mean. It just takes away yeah. a little bit of it, but you can still make money with Herbor doing one tip. And there's the uh, sap and herb changes. We actually forgot about that. I think that one's yeah, a and that's a big one. one. Yeah, I mean, you, you just finished grass again. You just finished two hundred mil Herbor. I mean, yeah. two hundred mil, uh, two hundred mil agility. How did you feel doing that with with sub? What doing the herbal with sub? Yeah. I don't know, like, I did it for, like, a day and a half just to try it, like, short term, it's fine, but doing that shit long term is not fun at all for me, personally. Like, I don't really know how to think about it, like, because all the Iron Men, they multi-skill with their Seb, so, like, people have done multi-skilling with Seb, like, a lot, so, like, but it's just, the method's kind of aids, but I'm pretty sure if you just, like, skill top with Seb, you could do it pretty much the whole way. It also does cost, like, a fuck ton of money, I think. I think it's like two bill, like a hundred hours saved. It's like quite a bit. Yeah, but isn't the controversial what? thing that you could also just do bake pie for pretty much the same yeah, time save? Yeah, you can and... do bake pie. Yeah, but I think that would only last you a thousand hours ish. I actually don't know what the XP error is when you're doing bake pie there, so it won't last you the whole skill though. Huh? What do you mean? What? Like, if you did bake pie with all your sep, like, you'd finish cooking before nah. Agi, I think. Nah, no way. You don't think? It's like... Did you do bake pie with sep? Yeah, I did on the speed. What'd you it. get? Uh, I think it was, like, 60k an hour. Oh, okay, I just massively yeah. underestimated it. Or overestimated, sorry. All right, then. Pretty sure it was, like, 60k. Yeah, yeah I've yeah. seen a decent amount of people doing bake pie with sep just instead of... How much XP uh, is it again, bake pie? 260? I can't remember. I haven't done bake pine so long. Yeah, you get like six and a half k per lap versus eleven k or twelve k edgy. So yeah. And if not doing any multi skilling with like SEP, I think like your edgy rate to get one to one is like one oh six or something, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is kind of funny. If you just wanted to do one to one edgy oh, without oh. doing multi skilling, just it's possible. No loot. Just run faster, man. Yeah. <laughs> Just play harder. Just maintain. Yeah, just, just lock in, man. You can get it. <laughs> I think six the, hour um, it too. I think the only game mode not to get any app changes recently was Irons. Um, we got our app changes in December. Ah, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. December third. Yeah. Are you guys oh, still um, the Heiger Bible or? Uh. No, Hiker finished and he stopped maintaining the HP. So it's basically just been a bunch of irons who like run numbers. I don't know. Is Cranes ever going to get added? Or it was like, I don't know. I think you Cranes for, like, is going for mechanics. UIMs. I uh, well, don't know. Normal irons doing it. I don't know what Poppy thinks of Cranes and that's kind of what matters. I think it's just kind of really cringe and should be removed from the game. At least the part where you can just hold it on an iron, but you know, we'll see what happens with that. 
Max is absolutely fuming if they remove it. I don't care. I already finished my 99. <laughs> it seems like a weird thing to be in mind. It kind of goes against the game mode. It's, like an, it's, it's the shot odd. shit. Like, the fact you yeah. can sell it on a main and buy it on the UIM, it's a bit... Yeah. bit weird. Yeah, once, it's a little bit odd. Once the shop sh uh, shit gets sorted out, I think it's, like, fine. I don't know if it will be HP. Probably will, but, you know, at that point I didn't really care. I think it's going for UIMs because Charmy was super happy because he was getting his woodcutting at back because he lost it with no, no, the... No, 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 he's, he's like, cheering too early here. Oh, okay. <laughs> if, he was, if like... Cranes, if, if cranes become EHP, then we get um, Redwoods, uh, plus 1.5 to Redwoods plus um, artifacts lighting the logs there for all those uh, skills. I, I won't tell him that. He can... Uh... He can find out when he watches the podcast. <laughs> because, yeah, I love Charmy. Shout out to him. I know if that happens and they try to devalue my man, he'll just go to the he'll just go to Varlamore mining. He'll be okay. Also, that sounds like the worst method ever for UIMs. Hmm? Uh, just teleporting back and forth from the farming guild like twenty four seven. Yep. Yeah, that doesn't sound very fun at all. If Max does a speed run of your game mode, prepare for some absolutely atrocious methods to become that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thankfully Max hasn't done an iron speed run, so Hey Max, how much, doing is. how much how much to do an iron speed run, Max? Nah, won't do it. I mean but Just for real though. Can have that one. Are y'all are y'all against like like with the current app and how app is, do y'all think that it would be like out of the out of the realm of like viability to say Dolo Blast Furnace could be a thing? Oh fuck that man. That that shit is a joke. I know. Age. I've I only know seen it is, but you can like two people do it and one person did it for five minutes and I saw Cape Crack and do it like a year ago. I'm sure there's other people that have tried it and when I watched him do it, it seemed like incredibly I hard. I only say um, because I've seen I've seen four people and well at least three people in SKSE doing it. SKSE. They did it with what like the, the alt tab method. It's where yeah. you have like two clients on top of each other and you alt tab between the two clients to trade quicker, which I think could be viable, but what a supervisor really special. I think he did that. Did as well. Pizeri did that? Yeah, uh, I'm yeah. Pretty sure. So I don't know how good that would be. But if you do dolo, I like it I think it always comes back to like money, money making, because unless you have like eight SWs or some shit. Like you're not gonna really be doing like a rune drag or anything, doing Dolo Blast furnace. So, mm -hmm. money zero time, man. Go get a job, buy some bonds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bonds are sky high. Make <laughs> some good money right now. I think out of all of the main app changes, like I'm happy that they're at least consistent. Like, there are some that I personally won't be doing as far as methods go, but at least it's consistent. There isn't, like, one skill that's way off what is considered EHP. Yeah. The only thing that I have a gripe with is the fact that it's impossible to get one-to-one. -one. I don't think that should be the case. I think, like, yeah, of course, there's an efficient way to do all of the skills, but if they change something and you've got half the skills done because you did something else, you shouldn't then be hard stuck getting 0.5 sweating your ass off. The elephant needs to fix it. Yeah, I will poke the elephant when the elephant is back off its POE holiday. Mm -mm. So, next month. He might, might only be back for a week, so... Yeah, it depends how good the uh, expansion is or season is. <laughs> is everything for him? Yeah. I don't know, anyone else want to... No, no, I can't see anything else. I assume that's the big no on that one. Right, so... Last question is the Project Rebalance, where they are... Starting to tweak some skills and do integrity changes. Curious what the thoughts are on that. I need to get the blog up, the most recent one. <laughs> I have a lot of very negative thoughts about Project Rebalance. Hey, fire them out. 
So first of all, what's the point in puffing pickpocketing? Because like, you shouldn't make people pickpocket, it's like the worst thing you could do for thieving. So why yeah. puff the raids there? That just makes yeah. zero sense. Yeah. The original like Gemini raid, I have absolutely no clue how they thought of that raid and just thought it was good. Like I don't know how like they just saw it was like three thirteen came like, oh yeah, let's put this in the blog. Like it's just the best method in the game. I don't know how that didn't go through their head that that'd be a I, terrible update. I think they just looked at the max speedrun and were like, Oh yeah, make this <laughs> artifacts. That's kinda of dude. They can just make feeling great, whatever. I don't think they were thinking that, but maybe they were. <laughs> Yeah, Max. Keep trying to keep trying to keep trying to like push the blame off you. Hey, so. uh, I'm trying to keep them in check, man. The fucking world <laughs> game. <laughs> I'm legit fucking trying my my best to like <laughs> talk some kidding. sense into them, man. Actually, <laughs> yeah. Well, they backtracked on the RD rates real quick. Yeah, but then they did again. Then like, they came back. Then they came back. Came back. Well, no, that, that's what I mean. Crazy. They yo-yoed so oh, quick. They went yeah. from seventy to fucking like a five hundred XP increase straight back to seventy because Reddit had an absolute meltdown. Yeah, maybe maybe I need to make a Reddit because like I don't know. The only Reddit I've been on is the Air Fryer Reddit, and I think that I'm obviously on the wrong <laughs> Reddit. I tried. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways. But like, and I know that like, um, but the thing was, I tried one time to get on the RuneScape Reddit, but they said I don't have enough karma. And I'm like, how do I not have enough karma? Because I, I don't post or something. Like, I don't have nothing to say, bro. I don't just be. But anyways, the, the the whole the whole Agi thing was kind of funny. I mean, it's only like, what, like 400, 400 hours, like off of at least my account build. But it does, but it does make, it literally makes some. Um, already like 0.6 for 0.7 well i don't know what it would be actually for mains but it's you like a uh, very considered... slight buff because of the the <laughs> also, rates like technically 106 also also considering like the whole the whole herb lore stuff i don't even know what's going on is it 106 yeah. with herb done though i think uh, or is it 103 i think I it know. i think it would be the 98 right if herb's done yeah, it, it probably Probably would. I don't uh -oh. know if in the which would put it, uh, which would make a RD point seven. Yeah. Oh yeah, see that's yeah. I did that. I did a little bit of math. You know, a little bit of math. Also, that's pretty crazy. If every rooftop course gets puffed, what happens to like prefetch or like werewolf or like later on anything that doesn't get puffed? Like all of that yeah. is just gonna be content overnight. I mean, it will yeah, stop cause... Jebrim saying that werewolf should be up at every level, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, just werewolf being like that, that would be just like even more dead cold. Shout out, shut not nah, dead now. Werewolf is not dead. dead. Shout out, shout out to Krim. He's still making it live. Oh, I thought you were gonna say shout out Jebra. I was like, excuse me, man. I ain't shouting out that man. I'm I'll keep it being, bro. I'm not gonna say nothing else, but don't make me. <laughs> I think they did do a little buff to the werewolf course, but they make it so like one of the NPCs doesn't wander about as much anymore. Yeah, it just means he can get the trade solo. I think. Yeah, you don't need the ult to like keep the cunt still. I think that's about it. But it's still like seventy k, which will just what's Artie's gonna be. So I don't know if they're yeah. gonna buff Werewolf, but then Brimhaven's getting a buff also apparently. I didn't get the Brimhaven. They didn't, they, they didn't state any rates for like ninety nine. Exactly, and they didn't say like what they didn't really say any type of like they just said you're going to get extra xp for for doing certain things in the brimhaven agility course however it's yeah. kind of like um you know no numbers no numbers there it's like i mean i don't think you know, they know the just numbers. wait till he gets a hold of it I think, yeah <laughs> i think the issue is they don't know the numbers yeah yeah they just yeah i think they'll probably a bit clueless on what to do there they could have just they could have just amended it either. like they did it all the other times <laughs> to me it's just like if you're gonna go down the route of just making agility faster, like why not buff every course? Why just buff like the worst courses in the entire game, and then just leave like all of the ones that are like marginally more fun just completely alone? Like that yeah. makes zero sense when it's supposed to be a rebalance. I did really like the uh, Riff was effectively an alternative to RD. It's but like now... getting to RD earlier, wasn't it? Yeah, it was but like now RD is level, just gonna be course. better. Oh, and every course is gonna give marks of grace, and also marks. Uh, also, Amelie's crystals are gonna be in the Brimhaven dungeon. So, in the store. So, like, good luck making any type of GP with that. Y'all better do sep. 
but also unless you're extra you just wouldn't get any luck anyway so yeah we are getting Good serpent instances tried. though that oh, is yeah, a great true. change. Yeah. <laughs> just a... a very good show. I don't know how it took him this long to do it. It was just the biggest slam dunk update ever. Yeah. But Mod Husky just hates people. <laughs> like, I, I think there is still a chance for them to fuck it up, sadly. I think it wasn't possible because Proof has like five floors or whatever. So the instance would be too large to keep open for one person. So just some like spaghetti goat shit. I'm sure they can. Like, and got change. I just I hope it's it a, a one-off cost in hallowed marks. I think that would be fair. Yeah, that would... so I just actually still have to do the content before yeah. instances. Worst but... things they could do is make it an RNG drop from the last chest, or make it a cost per instance and have that cost be more than what you get from the last chest. So you have to you do have a to mixture. Loot every floor. Yeah, you either have to loot more or do a mixture of uninstance and then instance. I think. I really hope they don't I, do that because it would just. I don't, I don't think, think a rare drop from the ground coffin is a bad idea. Depends how they rare, man. Something. If they like people go like, oh, the needle, that's not that bad to get, and then they spend the next two months doing fucking guardians of the rift to cut it. I think the marks is pretty much like just the easiest solution. I don't know, make it like 5k or something. I don't know how many marks you get if you're looting every floor, like an hour. I think like a lot two, of people in our community, a lot of people in our community kind of disliked the whole fact that they called it a rebalance when a lot of it was really just buffing. Like, I felt like, yeah. I don't know, I did a lot of pyramid plunder. I think that it's a really good method and they could have done something with that. And like, if they're going to like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot I mean, they could have done. My the opinion. pyramid plunder would be like so easy to like quote unquote fix. You just remove the stalls, make the XP like lower per earn, and it's a good method for like every low who wants to get like quick feeding. Yeah, or just open yeah. up the last room that's been closed for however many years. That's what I'm saying. It would be awesome just to see that. And then you have the mining changes. Um, I mean, I know like some some smaller changes like to blast. Well, they're not really smaller changes. A lot of people are doing blast mining in like the more niche communities I know and. Um, but moreover, I think the MLM buff, considering that they buffed MLM quite a bit in the, the recent years, is it's cool, I guess. I mean, like, I would be mad if I didn't have my UIM that I wanted to work on and get 99 mining on, but I guess I'll just, I'll just, I'll just serve my own interest and say, that's cool, I guess. I'll just use a super hopper and whatever it's called. The gap between volcanic mine and, like, other AFK mining methods is kind of insane. Yeah, they need a nerf EM if they weren't cowards. No, yeah, I mean, if it was, rebalance. If it was an actual rebalance, like VM to like 75k, that's that's rebalanced. Yeah, like iron, like power mining iron should be better XP an hour than fucking VM. Like, um, realistically. The one complaint I also had is they're very vague on uh, on the rebalance. Like they said that they were going to make changes to Brimhaven and then one very explicit with the rates and then they said they're going to make changes to vm and didn't say anything about that yeah it's kind of like just blue balling us well it's more just like they can then just do like a minor tweak and go haha we made a change yeah that's that's kind of what they're just like doing in general like the fucking all these reworks that they are calling or rebalances are just like band-aid fixes for like larger issues with the skills itself. Like at some point we, yeah. we need like full skill reworks. That that is just gonna happen, even if you want it or not. But well, skill we, reworks, I don't know. Yeah, if we need those. just full 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 skill reworks. That is gonna happen in like a couple um, of years probably. Yeah, it probably will happen. Sadly, but why? Like not do like one skill like now. Like do do the skills one at a time instead of just like doing all these small like band-aid fixes that aren't even like rebalancing things actually like they're just buffing random courses not even like nerfing other stuff that should be nerfed like driftnet vm and yeah just focus on on the skills one by one and actually address the issues that people have with the skills instead of just random number tweaks i don't know i mean that's, that's my whole start like, with... issue with the with the fucking rebalance thing they could start with the whole like if you're talking about driftnet, it's like they're gonna add a zip line to driftnet. However, they're just not gonna fix any of like the bugs that come with it. It's kind of odd, but I mean, it, I think it could be nerfed a little mm -hmm. bit. It is quite easy. Like, 
like pretty easy method, but and also you can you can profit or break even with it too. So I mean, maybe a lot of people will do it. But I, I also think yeah, you know, I think some I think some methods also should be deleted, but I don't think that we're gonna get that. <laughs> I, I think that some good things though out of it are the new quarry spots. Mayhaps, mayhaps they just add a banker in every single quarry. <laughs> like I mean, I don't like I don't see why not. Like, like a redwood tree next to it as well. That'd be nice. <laughs> and a fishing spot and a permanent shooting star. I'll take a shot to that one. I bet that'd be based. <laughs> I'm down for that. But there is way crim- too much of chaos. Crim- stops actually... will go so up. They don't want to. They don't want to let. They don't really want to like. They don't want to like just just do it. They want to like tiptoe around it until we get to the point where like now I'm talking like, oh, what's the big point about adding that? Yeah, I don't see the point, but I don't see. Bob. And then, but no, nah, they really could do that. But I don't know. I think that the new hope the new quarry spots are like good. I mean, maybe they'll be useful in regards to like or as um, min maxi as the TOA spot in terms of the the error gap that you can have at each spot. I mean, I think it'd be cool to see. Because the teleport at the TOA spot is like really good. Like it's really close and like I said, hey, that's why I said add the damn banker to every spot. Like a banker would be nice, you know. Get a knife log re up pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But you know us, we would never make a knife log. Yeah. Only when we're only when we're trying to uh, you know, show proof that we can do the method. Oh, we get Gnome Cube, man. Gnome Cube is going to be a new, uh, new rebalance. I'm surprised they didn't add that. They didn't talk about the Gnome Cube and skilling rebalance. They did talk about it in a blog earlier. I was kind of expecting them to talk about it again. Nah, it's not happening. They haven't. Oh, thank God. I'm kind of curious how they picked the skills that they were going to put in it. Because they put, like... About the most. It was, like, Project Rebalance skilling and... I well, didn't think thieving would be something that they. I, would... I have some some insight on that. Um, like all of these things started from a game jam project, and they all like bundled it together. Like there were different people like working on different skills, like making these tweaks, and then they made it like in, in one thing, and then um, yeah, they set themselves like an weird like deadline for this to yeah rush all the. So it's like the re the reworks, like the NPC rebalance thing, is a whole other fucking topic. Yeah, and they are like rapid firing these things. Well, when I think it would be way better if they took their time, like one by one, yeah, with these I things. Think, I think my main question is: Is this the only skilling rebalance that we're gonna get? Should we expect more? Because they've uh, only picked like this, four this random skills. It. This this is gonna be it. It just it feels very random. Yeah. That they're only addressing very niche skills. Sorry, yeah. Zero, go on. Can we start calling this a skill and buff? Yeah. yeah. That's what it is, really. Uh, to me, it seems like um, whenever they're doing these changes, they're probably looking at like players' attention metrics, like with like the new mini games and stuff, because like completely random skills have gotten buffs, right? Like mining and thieving. And I think those are skills that like are super like balanced at the high end. But if you're like level fifty smithing or whatever, like that's absolute like garbage to train. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Skilling reworks will happen in the next couple of years. But when you say then... reworks, do you mean like like an RS three type rework or just like oh. changing the numbers for all the methods? No, 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 no. Like actually changing certain like how how skills work. Like you you had an example earlier that you said like you need uh, iron ore needs to be better. Like um, power mining iron needs to be better than VM, but the problem is that fucking a level thirty five rock is like the best rock to mine outside of like the normal ores. Like that shouldn't okay, be. Yeah. That shouldn't like be the now. case. Like they yeah. need to like actually rebalance how the skills like work instead of like only tweaking numbers and ignoring the the bigger issues with those skills. Yeah. I think that is way too much of cowards to actually rebalance skilling. Like they don't care about skilling integrity. Like, yeah, but like, it, like it's just that, that's what I'm off. trying to achieve with a couple of others as well in like the creator Discord, trying to uh, talk some sense into them, <laughs> like bringing stuff like that up. 
I like the fact that they also just added as like a footnote. Oh, by the way, we'll be completely adjusting how run energy works. I mean that that is a good change. Yeah, I think it is, but they give like no actual information on it. Yeah, but they only did that because like people were uh, bringing that up. That like, where is the run energy thing? They only they, they thought they could get away with just tweaking some some numbers and just calling it a day and start working on like wow, good sleeps and such. Because that is the, the 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 like the real issue. Like they don't have time like for for a bigger scope on on this. So they are just like giving the players some yeah some small number it's changes well, and like then just moving on. Sixty J mods. Yeah, but somehow you know, they, mate, they don't have time. Their, their roadmap doesn't allow it. Max, do you know, like, I was also wondering, man, like, is Mod Archie okay? I, saw, I see him in the blog post, but I haven't <laughs> seen him in a minute. Is he okay? Is he yeah, around? He's, uh, he's collecting his paycheck, man. He's chilling. He's sitting okay. on the Bahamas. Okay, I was just making sure he's, you know, they don't got him. He's trying to get the he's trying to get the good changes in. They're like, no, 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 or something like that. Nah, he's All just, right. I, don't, I don't have no idea what that man is doing. <laughs> Mod Max. <laughs> I think it is a bit of a shame if this is the only rebalancing that we're gonna get. Oh, for the foreseeable future. Yeah, it probably is. Because I mean, after this, it's basically just if they are actually trying to get sailing out this year, it's gonna be like there's so many things that they could do, but won't purely because they'll be oh we're too busy with sailing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well. There are different teams, of course. Well, yeah. But, but sailing is gonna take um, take a lot of like manpower from different teams as well. Like the art team, I think, has like their fucking hands full with every update. Exactly. Like that's kind of the issue I feel like when when it comes to like big updates that like the art team needs to do like every update. And then they can't like work on uh, on other stuff uh, alongside it sometimes. Yeah. I don't know, it just... I'm kind of getting sick of the half-finished update stuff that we're getting at the moment. We just seem to be always getting, like, half-done updates Mm -hmm. without, like, it being fully fleshed out, or they'll be like, oh, we're going to be introducing this, and then some of it gets left out. And yeah. they never actually go back and address that and fully yep. flesh it out until randomly nine months later someone goes in a fucking the other changes section on a Wednesday blog. There's a four word thing that completely changes how a skill works. Yep. It feels like they're probably just trying to release like the bare minimum content to like make the casuals happy while still working on sailing is what it feels like. They're just well, it's, it's, to get by. it's almost like they're trying to be like, oh, we did we did a skilling rebalance, we did a yes, PDM rebalance, exactly. we released a new content, but or a new continent. But in all of that, yes, they technically did, but it's like a half assed version of all of those things. I would rather I've said this for a long time, RuneScape is one of the only games that gets weekly updates. I would have That's zero issue with them doing weekly server restarts so they don't go to shit, but going to, like, bi-weekly updates or even monthly updates, but we yeah. get a proper, fully fleshed-out, well-done update rather than yep. this constant 60% bullshit. Also, I agree with that. also, in regards to, like, the PVM rebalance, the only thing they're actually doing is just buffing the harmonized stuff. Which is just the most pointless thing to do ever. Like, I did see that. <clears throat> and with like the PVM... The... Yeah, like, that's the entire thing. Like, the ranged styles don't do anything. The elemental spells don't do anything. They aren't adding styles to, like, powered staves. So they're not even, like, nerfing Tumac and Shadow in, like, any way ever. So the only thing that, ha- like, happens is that the harmonized nightmare stuff goes from being basically useless to just, like, kinda niche. Which is just the most useless thing to like change the entirety of PVM for. Well, they're adding like range, like three different ammo types, which is adding yeah. complexity for the sake of complexity rather than. Yeah, but the ammo types aren't even like things that make sense. Because you already have like the T bow, both uh, 
then you have the blowpipe, and then you have like the Zarit crossbow. Like all three of these styles are basically already kept. So what are they gonna do about that next? Like <laughs> they they also said like yeah, the ballista is gonna like shine in the in the heavy section. Meanwhile, like fucking crossbow is in the is in the same thing. Like yeah, it's like I don't. Do. They've already got ammo types. They've got darts, bolts, and arrows. I why are they why, the defense, why general, are they just like, like NPCs? not sticking with those as the types why are they then adding like heavy it just is like another label to add to it i think it's so they can add like more accurate weapons in the future like in like specific styles so they can add like a super accurate blowpipe that doesn't do as much like raw damage or whatever but it's like such a useless thing to like just change defense calculations over. Yeah, I'm pretty clueless about that shit, so I don't have much to say about that. I know that they mentioned they just mentioned they have not said really much about anything in regards to like what they actually mean with the with the defense uh um with I, the I did listen stuff. to the there was a video about it that I listened to. It uh, that's what like it makes sense what they're trying to do. How they're trying to do it seems like I don't know. It doesn't seem like the best way for them to do it. If that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, in practice, the only thing that that's gonna change is that the harmonized nightmare stuff, which is just like the weirdest weapon in the game, is gonna be like somewhat meta again. Which is like, who asked for that? Yeah. With the skilling rebalance, like. I just want to know, are they going to release all these at one time, or is it going to be like every other release where they le- release like little pieces of it and they do X, Y, and Z with it? Yeah, that's the other yeah. thing. Like, I'm probably, gonna, I'm probably going to trickle in if I'm had to Were you going to see this yeah. before I, sailing? I, I think people... Uh, I'm only memeing about the Varlamore mining stuff. I do think that like whenever the mining stuff occurs with MLM, I think it's going to... I mean, considering you can get 55... 50 to 55k, 55k for sure at MLM right now. And they're going to be at, they're going to buff it. Like, they're going to buff it again. I think you're going to be looking at like 60k plus at MLM. I think, and, and you're going to be profiting. Like, like, I think that people are, I think that it's going to be more, I mean, it already is way viable, duh, but like, I think it's going to be pretty good and neat, especially since it's going to up the AFK. Yeah, Reddit will love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm the, curious what uh, they're gonna do to VM as well. Like, yeah, um, that's another big question mark. Is yeah. I genuinely don't think we will be seeing like the full project killing rebalance anytime soon. I've heard think... people say May or June, but I'm I doubt it. Well, didn't Hebox say there is a deadline to all this? So, yeah. So, w- what twenty percent of it do you want? <laughs> I, I, I thought feel like they said adding a deadline to it's kind of dumb. Like it's rebalancing. I think you should no. take your time and be calculated with it. Don't try and give yourself a date to finish this all by. I know they said that they're gonna. Like I remember them in the blog, the in the blog, they said that, or maybe it was in a live stream. I watched one of the live streams, but I know that either or they said that it was gonna be either late this month or next month. Like I, I, I literally recall that. Like all the skills. I, I recall them saying that. Uh, yeah. But they didn't say all all, yeah. all of what. However, in that same live stream, you had um, one J mod saying, uh, "Oh, we we don't. These are coming into the game, no matter if you like it or not." Um, in regards to something, and then and then they were just like, "Oh, but." Uh, and then later on, when they got a little pushback in the chat, they were reading it, and it was funny. <laughs> they were like, "It doesn't have. It, you know, we we're still working we're on it." Sure <laughs> yeah, like like hey man, just. <laughs> Like just stay on, stay on, stay on your point. Like, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Bro. Just, all I care about. I like to. I I think that like I just prefer to to not have to rethink a bunch of extra stuff at the end of the day. I mean, I don't necessarily have to. It's just something I I do. But I think that if they just if they're gonna say one thing and then just do that one thing. Also, I might be getting confused, but I think what they said uh, in regards to VM. Is they're gonna make solo more viable and for six feet in teams? I think that yeah, was kind of the point. Correct. They need to do that. They need to do that. I'm tired of hearing people complain about VM teams. What if they had like matchmaking? I know you just. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't think you can complain you about the VM. <laughs> VM teams are like VM. <laughs> Elo based VM. <laughs> oh please! Like honestly, 
VM teams can make or break a mood for the day. There have been mornings where I've woken up in a great mood, gotten into a VM team, and then for the rest of the day just been absolutely swearing at people. Binder. Yeah. Yeah. So happy that skill is done. <laughs> See, I'm going I'm I'm to I'm keep my opinion on that. I want to I want, you know what I'm saying? I love y'all. Y'all keep doing VM, going hard. Right, I'm okay. Hard if they changed it so VM scaled the damage to hit points like Winter Todd did, are you telling me that you wouldn't have done it over Granite? Bro, don't ever question my manhood like that. Like, ever again. <laughs> don't talk to me like that, bro. I did that shit out some mud. Done, I did that basically shit. Did VM. But the thing is, I did my shooting stars, and I stood on 10 toes, and I use I used my dust, bro. <laughs> don't play with me like that, bro. Don't do that to me, bro. Don't try to don't try to invalidate me like that, bro. I put that on all of Crimcadelphia that I did that out the mud, bro. Don't do that, bro. Stop that, bro. Head ass, bro. You're funny ass. Don't try to goo me in with y'all. Y'all, that's y'all. Y'all. <laughs> I like VM. I love it. Keep it in the game. EA Sports. Competitive. They should add an ELO VM. Yeah. The esports. E esports VM. <laughs> Fuck dead, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, $10,000 to the most points in a VM game. Yeah. I don't know if y'all had anything to say about the Slayer changes. Uh, I, I've heard. Uh, Talk about it, I think, on his stream a little bit. But what were your thoughts on that? Because kind of player changes. Yeah, it's yeah, like they're, they're really it... small. I know they're small in the skilling rebounds. Yes. And they just like removing tasks. Yeah, I still need to make the video. I um, I wasn't happy how the video first uh, like was, so I had right. to like redo it a little bit. But um, like the Slayer changes they are doing aren't necessarily bad because they are addressing low level Slayer where like the the issue is. But I, like I think Slayer can be like actually reworked. The point system can just be changed to make it that you can actually choose uh, like your own task list, so that you like at Jurel you would choose like twelve different Slayer tasks and you would only be assigned like those twelve tasks, which doesn't change any metas, but it removes like the fucking skipping aspects and like the point as uh bullshit from from slayer which is in my opinion like a fucking win if that is possible i think reddit's gonna like that yeah and I'm with it it's like gonna be good in general yeah and like there there are changes to to making the um, the lower level slayer masters a little bit more viable well is it necessarily bad to remove like some of the the cringe monsters from those tasks? Because I think Veneca has like a, uh, a Slayer list of like sixty monsters or something, something stupid. Holy fuck! Yeah, it's kind of wild. But <laughs> um, like, what the real issue is, like currently with um, with the Slayer points system, is that the lower level masters they give like two points per task completed. Like, yeah, good luck uh, unlocking your like Slayer helm with that. Yeah. That that is the real issue with the low level slayer thing, and they aren't even addressing that, so they're also kind of trolling. I think the real issue with slayer is that uh, it's like the only skill right now where there's only one method to train it, and yeah, I mean, that like, as I, well. Yeah, like there, there every could other be skill. A, a different activity for for slayer. Yeah, the museum. Okay. <laughs> oh, the boy. museum. Why did that? you say that? The way you said that with that. You can get funny on there. The light bulb go off. It's crazy. Yeah. The <laughs> museum. Fuck his salivating. <laughs> me and Orlando. Me and Orlando Smith in the museum. It's crazy. Nah, no, stop it, bro. Stop it. Okay, it's about to spend boy. a lot of time now. <laughs> uh, Slayers. I just poured out some Hennessy sure. for for Diddy Boy right now. I just poured out some Hennessy for Diddy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've seen some methods from Mario's Free for Slayer that are like alternative training methods, and they seem like super fun. Like and what? Uh, there's like a dungeon where you just go through like different mobs and just clear the dungeon or whatever. Like I don't exactly know how they work, but it seems Dun like engineering. No, 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 it's not like it's kind of like dungeoneering for the, it's like a specific Slayer dungeon type thing. Uh -huh. I don't really know how it works exactly, uh -huh. but like. It seems yes. like way more fun than just like killing I, I would completely rather random not, mobs. I would rather not add like uh, more mini games to I like mean, this game. Yeah, obviously, like it won't have to be a mini game. It just could be like, oh, if you get like some time to be in a dungeon and kill like a selection of mobs instead of just you know doing a random task. Shout out Jagex fixing skill issues by slapping a mini game on it. Yeah, yeah that's crazy and like. They'll add so much content, but I feel like there's just so many 
I don't know if it's hard for them to do. Or, like, there's so many small things that can just be fixed. Like, like if you're going to have an OP method like drifting in the game, you could at least make it, like, to where, like, it just doesn't mess up your overall gameplay. Like, Driftnet, I don't know if they fixed it, but Driftnet should not affect your artifacts. And Driftnet, like, whenever you log in, it shouldn't be, like... <laughs> it shouldn't be, like... Like, it's well, just, like, little... There's, there's actual making, bugs yeah. where, like, I was literally streaming and I know how the bug works that, like, you can literally just... You could... It, it's not... I guess it's, quote-unquote... Mm, I'm not gonna even say that, but it's... You can literally just do it. Like, it's so easy if you do Driftnet enough to where you can... You, rel- you realize how... How the bug works where it's just like you just walk you're just walking on water for no reason and I, it's like if, and they know these methods is this they know artifacts is this they mention it in the blog they mention they they they, they know driftnet exists they're they adding a zip line to the island there's nothing else to do on that island but go there uh-huh. and do your it's, seaweed it's, stuff it's so. the iron man seaweed uh heaven i will never cater to iron man adds her blood todd <laughs> yeah what it's just a gonna be like. it's just another mini game to fix an issue, but it's not even necessarily an issue. But oh, they think it's an issue, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like people complained about uh, ring crafting. Hey, Guardians of the Rift. Yep. People Fuck complained that, about Herb Law because they're broke or an eighteen hundred iron whining that they have to do Herb runs. Oh, let's add Herb Law, Todd. If any iron complains it about Herb Law, they should de iron immediately. <laughs> Based. Based. It is okay. A, a lot of that, a lot of the Iron Man just have, it just eliminate doing herb runs by having people service their accounts and do it for them. So, Shush. I just, yeah. I, I hate the skilling will just eventually become a mini game per skill. Most of the mini games are shit as well. They just yeah. like. Well, I think Goda was actually like pretty well thought out. I think they did a decent job on creating Goda, but Winter Todd and Temporos is so terrible and uncreative. Yeah, we've got what Winter Todd, Temporos, I guess Mahogany Homes technically. I mean, it's I a guess. mini game. Yeah, Sepulk is technically a mini game. Yeah, it and is. It's in the it's in the collection tab, and yeah. that's like the greatest skilling update to ever touch the game. So, or content in my opinion. Yeah, but it didn't really fix issues with agility. Like the core no. skill itself. It, the rebalance project rebalance fixes all of the issues. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Coming <laughs> May twenty twenty four. I can't wait. I, I'm really just the first thing I'm gonna do when those when that mining stuff drops. I'm just gonna instant hop on the UIM and just start MLMing to two hundred mil on that account. It's gonna be so beast. I'm capping by the way. Ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I was gonna say, but I forgot. But we are getting buffs, like for sure. I don't know, like the whole rebalance act or whatever. I call it an act, like it's a law. But like the whole rebalancing stuff is, I don't know. It's a lot of buffing, and I mean, depending on how you how you look at skilling, I think your opinion will be one or the other. It's like, oh, it's negative or it's positive in regards to certain things. So I think a lot of it could just not be changed, and then nothing would really happen. Yeah. Some things changing, which I think are a benefit, like step instances, run energy change could be quite nice, but then, like, yeah, I get that they're removing the troll tasks from lower slayer mon- uh, masters, but the amount of time you spend with that as your main slayer master is so small in the great, like, whole comparison of how long you spend at each master, I really think that they could just mm-hmm. not do it and put that effort into something that's going to be a little more useful. At first, I was negative toward the whole, like, changing um, the early uh, courses and stuff like that. And But then I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? Draenor is pretty close to, like, where you spawn at. Go ahead and let those... Go ahead and let them... Yeah, that, that makes sense. You know, like, Draenor should be level one, or one of the level one cores. Does that just... I had to get out of my mindset of, like, this should be this way. Like, I was like... Oh, no so adding three level one courses now, it's going to be the Gnome Stronghold, Draenor, and the Shade. No, one, Gnome Stronghold's level, level 10 now. No, it's stage oh, okay. one, I think. Oh, oh last I saw it was level 10. Oh, I don't know, actually. I, I think they were both time. level one. Yeah. Also, like the original pitch where they were going to nerf Sears and Puff Trelec and pull in Beach was like pretty well done. Like, if, I think that was like actually a rebalance. But yeah. it lasted like five right, seconds. I hated that. 
I'm going to be getting over my farm runs with this new Tavoli wall shortcut. Watch out for the hobgoblins. <laughs> well, actually, there aren't any hobgoblins, but whatever. I wish they were like, like, they. I don't know if they changed more. They just feel like they only changed the rooftops in the agility one. I feel like I wish they changed like the other stuff as well. Like the other courses put them in the middle. Oh, they, they got they got Brimhaven. Well, we don't know what they're doing with Brimhaven yet. I guess we don't, right? What they, they probably they know. They probably know the race. Like, they just don't want to say nothing because they know what. They have. I feel like it's gonna. Be. I don't know. I feel like it may end up being just better than Artie at some level. I just like I feel like rooftop good. should never be like the best. To be honest, yeah. Brims should be like best uh, under Sepulcher. I was gonna say. You think Brims should be but over I, Sepulcher? But I think. But I think they are uh, saying like Brim is going to be, be the best from like level forty to level seventy or something, which is for control. See. We'll see. I guess I. What are the rates for like poker low levels? Doesn't sixty seventy. Yeah, I think Sepulchre hit seventy on floor four when you on not floor four. No, that's, 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 that's like eighty. Oh. That's oh. Floor three is seventy two. They're actually distributing like floor five XP to like oh yeah, the yeah. Lower yeah that's true. There's one change that I'm not gonna talk about. I'm not gonna let everybody know. I'm just gonna abuse it when it comes out. But y'all enjoy. What the goblin wall? <laughs> that that is just not <laughs> ever gonna be good because you need to it just, blow you glass just for ten hours to do one hour of goblin wall. So think about think about really... think about all the think about all the uh, lumberyard teleports you bought, man. Think about all the stuff I have in my bank right now. <laughs> I say that on the cast. <laughs> <laughs> like that that's what should be a change to make right now because like everyone drops their lantern orbs like no one keeps them anymore yeah like i but, think it might i don't know if it'd be days for iron man because you still have to go collect the goblin wire i think they're doubling the goblin wire collection um it would have been before like crafting multi-skilling but that's been yeah, in the game good. for like three years and there's cranes coming now as well so big up cranes in the game so play won't be good. Oh, and a big thing. It might not be a big thing to some people, but I think back onto the mining thing, the mining glove stuff is, I mean, they don't really say exactly what will work where, but I mean, you never know. It could be big. Big. I mean, mining yeah, gloves already work in some places. About the, I d imagine they do make it work like Granite. You just take another 10% <laughs> buff. <laughs> I mean, you put some... uh... Hey, sure hey, mining... with the, hey, with the stardust in your ring? Imagine. I'm pretty sure Ooh. mining gloves don't affect pick when it... Because you don't get a second roll, even if, like, deep rock. Yeah, then you just get, like... Wait. You just get, like, an extra rock, though. You don't get, like, extra XP. I think that's how they work, right? Yeah, like, the rock stays yeah. active after you mine it once. And I think, like, if you're doing free tick, you don't get a double roll. You just still get, like, one roll. Maybe they'll change it. <laughs> uh, they won't change it. They'll rebalance it. Yeah, that's a shot. But the the SEP like um XP redistribution, I think they'll mess with the six hours because yeah, the lower floors will give more XP. So yeah, no, well, yeah, so I think at the moment it. you get grand, sadly. I think you finish floor four in the six hour. If I'm right, you don't yeah, get to. I think you can go to floor four. Yeah, you yeah. can't get to floor five. So yeah, no, it would it would make it possible to get higher. That's kind of saddening. Hmm. I don't I'll like wait for like someone get... to run it back. Moved around just because of Jagex. How do you feel since since finishing Agi? It's a new day. Great. In the quarry. <laughs> Prospect of boots of touching the sand. Mm-hmm. Ten toes. There you go. Ten toes. For now. Yeah, until he steps into the volcano. Nah, forever. <laughs> forever. I'm not going to that place. <laughs> nice they had the VME sports. <laughs> the orgs and RuneScape. Day Zistra. <laughs> <laughs> Optic VM division. Let's see it now. <laughs> well, yeah, if getting... we're done with the rebalance, I think. The next one would be taking some questions from the chat. Yep. 
have any questions. Or should we do the mammal one now? Yeah, I was going to say, do you want to fire off the mammal one? <laughs> There's one word in Necro's message that's impossible to pronounce. Where is it? You mean eviscerate? Yeah, eviscerate. All right. We have a question from Necro here. Lads, what is the largest mammal you are eviscerating in unarmed combat? So I have two mammals. Two. Yeah, two. There's like, that's I have the that's high true. percentage chance, like the one I think I can beat like eight out of ten times. <laughs> then I have the second one, which is like three out of ten times I'll beat it. The first one is a sea lion. Like, mm. oh, they're, mm, they're fat as fuck. No legs or arms. So they're not how, how are you beating it with your hands? She goes fucking. I think over. Pillow? I'll just run circles around it over time, and I think I can just chip it down because <laughs> it's not getting a hold of me at all. Are you, are you it's exactly just a blood. Right. If mm, it can, on if it gets you once, you're. Yeah, yeah. If it gets me, if I'm under that thing, it's done for. But I think I'm. <laughs> oh, they got big ass down. teeth. Yeah, but like, but with... if I'm behind it, like it's gonna take like ten millennia for it to turn around <laughs> to do like a one eighty. Man's just but, sucker no. punching a seal in the back of the fucking head. I'm mad you thought about <laughs> this. Like, you you got this. Like no, like <laughs> yeah. And the second option is a deer. I think a deer could just outrun me. I think it's kind of like I'm the sea lion against the deer. <laughs> but if I get my hands on the deer, it's done. Mm. Mm. Like, I, I, I how, tell it's you, done. how tall are you? How tall are you though? How tall are you though? I'm six foot. Oh, okay. My bad. Mm. My bad. If I get no, my no, hands I, on the deer, it's done. You. I don't think the sea lion threat works because like there's no reason to assume the sea lion would be coming after you, and they just stand still. Like you can't do anything with your hands because it's a fucking sea lion. <laughs> I, I, over time, I'll beat the sea lion. It's not going to be a long fight. I mean, a short fight. It's going to be long, drawn out. But over time, how, I'll how beat are you the taking it down? Just like punching it over and over? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just, like over time, I'm just going to keep hitting that thing. <laughs> but he has a, like a huge layer of fat. It, like your punches are going to do nothing. I don't care. Man's just beating the shit over out time, of the fucking body bag. <laughs> legit. This chip damage. I'm not long like fight. That. I think you would take more recoil damage than you deal. Not me. Uh, it just needs one good flipper smack and it's just going to the fucking moon. What if I like went for the eyes? Like I'm sure I can get like an eye shot in there eventually, then it's blind. Then it can't do anything. Hmm. I think the only re like correct answer is a human around your size. That's mm, cool, I'm six foot. Pull up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now you're silent. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it. I don't care what the memo is. You know. You're taking gorilla? I'm taking the gorilla. I'm taking the eastern lowland gorilla. I'm smoking that thing, bro. I don't care. I don't need a weapon. I'm hand to hand combat, bro. I'm really. Nah, that shit is like impossible, that. man. Yeah, you're Stop just, it, bro. That thing just fucking smashes your head off your shoulders like with one punch. That just lets yeah. me know you don't believe in yourself. That's, that's not me, though. Uh, any odds? Any odds? Maybe like a like a beaver. You could take a beaver, I think. Something like that. I have an interesting one. Go on then. I reckon I could take on a uh, giraffe. A giraffe. Yeah. Head button its kneecaps no and put it pulls over. <laughs> if you are able to like trip that thing or like grab its neck. Okay. He's done for it. It's got a big fucking neck, my guy. <laughs> I don't think you're getting no, to the neck. If you just are able to like climb on that thing and just like get his neck and just fucking like smash it down. Monster Hunter, yeah, you're just crazy. Yeah, like, no, 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 you're no, so no, scary. That's so scary, bro. The fact that he said a, 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 a giraffe is crazy, bro. He's like, gonna bro, kick like, you once. An herbivore, bro. How about you man up, bro? Man I mean, up, man I mean, it, no, it, it's kicks are fucking deadly, sure, but. If you're able to avoid that and yeah. somehow like fucking trip that thing, it's gonna you split fucking... you. Do you get a hold of it? Like nah. it could just do three sixties and you're falling off. Nah, nah, like nah. you don't have the grip strength to hold. Like they have I, a I thick have... neck. I do some pull ups, man. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see like... Max's physique. <laughs> <laughs> just Olympia over here. <laughs> like, how tall are giraffes? How tall is a giraffe? Well, just they're, they're they're pretty pretty tall. Tall. 16 insane, to 18 bro. feet, yeah, and you think you're getting to the neck? Max isn't that tall, I'm not gonna lie. He's gonna be, his head will be at its knee. Wait, how tall are you, Max? How tall are you? Nah, I'm, how tall are you? I'm 6'2. Okay, yeah. How tall are you, Ask? 
Zero, how tall are you? Like five nine or something. Okay, yeah. You 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 might want to go with the ant eater. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you might want to go with the ant eater. You might want to go with the ant eater. I was gonna say llama could be a good option. They're fairly tall, but kind of, kind of docile. Well, if that cunt gets like a good shot of spit at you, then you're just blind. Uh, alpaca's spit, llama's bite. I don't know. You just gotta like <laughs> sneak up behind and sucker punch the bitch in the back of the head, and you'll be fine. I think it's just a completely like unanswerable question. Because if you're un- unarmed, like you're unarmed, but every other animal has like inbuilt weaponry. So I'm, I'm from the I'm from the US. I'm always armed. <laughs> I got hands. It's crazy. <laughs> I will say I did get a really good response from Charmy. Let me just find what he sent me. Charmy replied with, "My first thought was to use my body to block a whale's blowhole, but I'm pretty sure that shit could launch me a hundred feet in the sky." <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, I whales, admire the like, fucking effort. <laughs> like, I think whales, once they die, they just, like, explode. So I guess you could just, like, wait for, till a whale explodes. You could do that. And it just eviscerates itself. <laughs> you get sent into low Earth orbit. <laughs> Are they question marking my whale thing? They do. Whales <laughs> explode. Let me find it. Whales exploding oh. after death. Exploded whale boxes often explode when trapped gases are unable to seep out gradually. Yeah, because so. whenever you die, you know, you gotta let it out. But I guess, like, if a whale's just on the land anyways, it's dead, so it's... Well, that's the thing. Are you fighting the animal in its natural habitat, or in, like, your choice? I'm, like, imagining we're in, like, a coliseum. But if you if you pick a whale, then obviously the Colosseum's going to be filled with water, no? Can I have like a water part and I have a land part? But you uh, have the backpack on and the fishbowl helmets. You're good. They're flippers. Uh, you're, you're still unarmed, you know? What are y'all going to take, think... Esk and uh, Zero? I said I'm just, armor. I'm just going armor. with a human at on my size. But who? I don't want to fight no six foot people. I'm sorry. I don't want to do no fair fights. I'm fighting the gorilla. Because <laughs> if I lose to the gorilla, if I lose to the gorilla, it's like, bro, it's a gorilla, bro, right? Like, it's a gorilla, bro. But if I lose to someone who's equally my size, bro, nah, we going out like that. I'm for sure. I'm and I'm gonna hang it up above my uh, above my fireplace. So for sure. What a dead gorilla. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm taking it to the taxidermist, and I'm and I'm getting that thing <laughs> mounted up, holding it up. It's like, a, it's like in your POH. <laughs> yeah, another victimization. Uh, I don't know if we actually got any box? other questions. Did you did you say one he box? I said, uh, said the giraffe. Giraffe, but I'm oh kind yeah, of I, I don't my know statement here. I, nah, I think, stay, yeah, I think it's too heavy. That. I think it's too heavy <laughs> to like. Yeah, like that big over. man, like a giraffe. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't think they were like that big. Hmm. You get caught by one. Ca- I mean, giraffes. Giraffe. Giraffes like they're not that coordinated. They flail like a motherfucker. You yeah, get caught true. with one kick, you are yeah. gone. Yeah, it's it's over then. Yeah. I wouldn't have needed. I'm saying y'all are talking about. Oh, your size, yada yada. Like, if it was, I'm saying bro, it would have been a different story with me and Harambe, bro. There would be no gun, bro. He still would be dead, bro. <laughs> Keeping it that way, he still would have been dead, bro. It would have been me versus him, and y'all would have seen me on the news, bro. I'd be a legend <laughs> and alive, mind you. <laughs> kid, kid falls into zoo. Bystander eviscerates gorilla with I probably, their hands. I would have been the one. To, I would have, bro. Man, I probably. <laughs> yeah, nah. Wouldn't even would be no guns involved. It would have been equal. <laughs> I don't think we got any chat questions. I think we just the whole mammal thing just distracted people. No, yeah, no, I'm no, having no, to no. scroll up to see if there was anything that was actually said before yeah. people started giggling at Max saying he'd take down a giraffe. <laughs> yeah, giraffe man, come on man. <laughs> yeah, just lower it to a baby giraffe. <laughs> baby giraffe, or like a like a like a somewhat grown giraffe. Female giraffe, they are like 400 kilograms, uh, like less than a male one. There we go, then. Female giraffe. 
<laughs> now you're getting specific. Now you're going to say a female <laughs> giraffe with a limb. <laughs> I mean, if you can choose the, um, the environment, like you can have some like height difference in, in the environment. And then you can just like jump on the neck straight away and just so what, you're going to say universe the giraffe in the jungle. And you're going to request yeah. still. Wait, there's a question. There's a question from Halcyon Seed. It says, will anyone race for sailing? I'm racing. Oh, yeah? yeah true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually, we have a... it's actually, uh, I have a plan, a strategy for sailing as well. Like, I, I might do a Slayer month before sailing drops to like test my limits. Oh. Mm. to actually like That's get the into the oh, get wait. into the into the zone with like sleep depriving and stuff like i'm not like right before sailing of course but like maybe awesome. like a month or two before that i i would like to try to do a slayer month why do i feel like he's, on he's the... tape that man said he's tape for sailing That's mm, crazy. i'm not sure like uem is kind of boring with slayer i would rather do it on my, on an alt like actually try to set the slayer month but we'll see boss needs to watch out yeah, I can't I wait for the DM from Max saying, "Can I have a loan?" I'm not gonna lie, Max. I'd I'm not gonna DM you. In the bed. I'd give you that. I'd give you that bill. I'd give you the bill. I'd make it back anywhere though. I, I'd be sure you know. Uh, I don't want no. Do I don't want no excuses for you, Max. Sailing. No excuses. What? The what top this? three for sailing. Uh, Farva, Higer, and Fast Alt. Higer. Yeah. Do you think Higer will be second? Well, just that's the top three. Well, it order. depends how iron friendly they make it, but yeah. they make everything iron friendly nowadays. So yeah, I think Iron they... shouldn't have a disadvantage, especially not for two that bill. Maybe on like day one they have a slight disadvantage, but no. I don't know if like Kiger and DK who are playing too for sailing. This guy, man, of uh, fucking needs. <laughs> they're um, playing. I I don't Tiger. think DK show like can play that much because like. He finished an instant like just going YouTube or whatever. Nah, Hyger is still playing. They're I playing. can see Hyger. I think Enjoys has to be in top three. Mm, like, I think if man. Enjoys plays, Enjoys is like, kind of like time. A, a glass cannon, though, sometimes. Yeah. 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 If he maintains, yeah, he definitely could be. Like, I know Rodney did say, like, I remember him saying in a chat, like, someone asking me something to do sailing, he said he'll go as hard as he can. But I yeah. also know Rodney does go to school. Well, he did. I don't know what he's. I don't know, that was a long time ago, so I don't know what it's, his situation it's America, is. America, man. One class a week. It's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay, Max. Okay, Maximilian there. Watch it. Also, it does seem like Kyger is logging on again, because for a while he wasn't. So, yeah, Kyger yeah. might do sailing. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm it's of, like, interesting. I'm just thinking about like the the top months that have been done, like the the people who have just been gaming, who did the top months ever in history of RuneScape. I'm probably gonna go with um, <clears throat> Rodney Farva, Shawarma, and Plundering. <laughs> <laughs> what are y'all laughing about? I'm not laughing. I'm. I drank some Hennessy, but I promise you, I'm as sober as ever. <laughs> This is just the way it is. I mean, like, they be gaming, bro. Broke some of the best that's records ever. That's in there as well. That's just cap, though, bro. That's crafting. That doesn't even count. And plus, it's not even like a big week, a big month, or it wasn't even a month. It was like a week. You're just a hater. Oh, now I'm a hater. It's crazy. When you were yeah, he did the 168, man. That's so kind, what? Kind of cracked. <laughs> they All got right. Vaughn and Quiqui. <laughs> Maybe he did do three tick crafting. You never know. <laughs> Rodney also still does play. He plays a UIM and hardcore, so he's still he's still warm. Mm -hmm. You know, the seat has, the seat's still warm. Do the other players? I know Fast still plays. Fast is just not the dude went from doing like 120 weeks of skilling to 120 weeks of PVM without skipping a bit. <laughs> I feel like he doesn't play as much as he used to anymore now. At the start, he was he's playing a lot, less. but I don't know what yeah. he's doing now. Plays a bit less. Uh, yeah. I know the first thing you did was just like camp corp 14 hours a day doing one plus three on his own. Yeah. Fucked up. Outside of that, I just want to give a good shout out to um now like, I'm not even being joking. Like I think Oscar might do something when he comes back. I think he's gonna finish. <laughs> I'm not joking. Like I'm dead ass. I think he'll I think he because he believes really, he's been gaming on, on Runecrafting recently. And I think, I know you know, gaming. it's funny because it's funny and he has, 
Yeah, he has. He's going to finish before Sailing comes out. And I think Max is over here giggling, but maybe he'll have the last laugh. <laughs> He has he has off the weeks now. He's on a nine point three now. Yeah, he's RC, which is like a Wiz, double Wizzaya. even like triple. Yeah, with Zaya, so like yeah, that's actually like a thirty or forty. That's yeah, so it. like I'm, y'all think I'm see that's the problem. You're sitting here and now you got a little serious there. I know you set oh, up in your yeah. chair now, Max. But so, thirty yeah. and forties isn't going to be enough for sailing. I don't know, man. You have to time those by ten. No, I'm saying month. like honorable mention for like just finishing in in a good spot and getting two hundred mil all. How much app does he have left? Oh, I'll see. Not that much. He's yeah. like one hundred and forty-seven. Yeah, he should yeah. be good. He's gonna <laughs> finish. Y'all sleep. That's why I love him, man. I knew it. <laughs> He's just been waiting. He's been storing up all these years for sailing. <laughs> yeah. Just has the dense essence blocks in the inventory in the bank. <laughs> but one, I think realistically, uh... anyone that has a four K year could get like top three sailing. I don't like a four K pace is not enough for for yeah, sailing. Like, you're just gonna have to be doing five hundreds for like yeah. three months or like two yeah. months probably. I think I'm just, just cool, yeah. enjoys enjoys has done multiple five hundred months, pretty sure on different account builds too. So I think he could probably be top three. And then mm-hmm. um uh Rodney Farba and I, I just I would love to see Fast go hard at it. What but also Fior? I know that on the Hexes podcast, Randy said he's gonna Fior. take off work. So you never know. Randy. Also, uh, like, Randy but... might be fucked by uh, by work. No, nah, he said sailing... he's gonna. He said he might take off. He said he will take off. He's yeah, but, off. yeah. I, I, I spoke. To, I spoke to Randy uh, recently, and like, if sailing releases like too late next year, he's fucked with his like his uh, days off that he can take. Oh, that expire. Uh, yeah. Also, Good job. show me you're dedicated. When I say 4K year, I mean like 4K by current DHP. I don't know what the historical years that people have are. Oh yeah, true. I know it's there's like barely any more 4Ks now. There's like eight or so. I still have yeah. 4K. Do I still have my 4K? Oh, you don't. don't so. Yeah, be <laughs> refreshing your record. You're, you're a 3.9. There's only like eight <laughs> people with a 4K now. It's okay. Don't worry. Man, man got beaten by his own fucking changes. <laughs> oh, no. <Turn> back. <laughs> Refer to changes. <laughs> man danced too close to the sun. Fuck. Not my 4K. Not even any herb or one four K is actually like easy to to do. Like just just like playing twelve hours a day for a year. It's not too hard if you need. Oh, okay. So you have to be. Now you make me feel. Now I don't feel too bad at us. Um, <laughs> one good question I saw from the chat was uh, Max mentioned reworking skills earlier. What is a skill that you would want reworked, and what would you change, add, or remove? Uh, well, I I'm like working points on Slayer. Yeah, I'm I'm working on on a Slayer uh, rework myself currently, but I would also like to see a rework to smithing and mining. Not sure what I would personally change, but I think just like changing success rates on like other rocks, like the gold ore thing, to make like actually gold a viable way of uh, or like mining gold ore a, vi- a viable way to actually obtain gold for irons and like kind of cut Maybe out the, the, the yeah yeah yeah. Just the golden kinda, horseshoe. Yeah, no, not not necessarily that one, but just like adding something that makes uh, like the core skill, uh, the core activity of the skill, like more relevant and like steer away from fucking mini games. That's what yeah. I kind of want to see. But I don't think I like, really want to rework for anything. Personally. I mean, I don't either personally. Like my my skiller like identity doesn't want that. But if I like look at the game as a whole, I think it's needed in like 2024, 11 years after Old School came out, which is already like a game from 2007. So if you want to like have the game like evolve to like somewhat modern standards, I think you need to look at reworks. Yeah, I think I think Slayer desperately needs like a pacing rework. Because right now it's like a task is either like 20 minutes or like 2 minutes. And it's just kind of another fun gameplay loop. I mean, I personally like the Slayer gameplay loop. I don't think there's anything wrong with like getting an assignment. I just think the whole uh, point system is just like flawed at this point And it kind of keeps the skill from like evolving. Everything needs to be locked and like put behind this stupid point system and like it isn't even integrated with like the level system at all anymore like the, all the unlocks that you get from the skill outside of the slayer monsters aren't even tied to a slayer level so yeah i, I just stupid. think uh, i just think in general 
having like super short tasks kind of just like removes a lot of the flow from the skill and i think the pacing could like use actual attention mm -hmm. i mean you could always tweak like task lengths for certain uh tasks of course but uh i also wanted to add a um this is an idea from uh Edicon, actually um to uh -oh. add um it's like an alternative for tutorial skipping where you do like um, you get an, a, a small like assignment from a uh, slayer master where you need to kill let's say like one zulra three demonic gorillas and some fire giants or whatever and then you're able to like pick your next uh, task maybe at a like reduced uh, xp rate so you can actually like get like the tasks you want for like bossing and not um, have to fucking tutorial skip for eight hours and then still don't get your task yeah, I heard him talk about that on... He did, like, a cast of Sebe recently. Yeah. Heard him talk about that. Yeah. Would be nice for Zuck as well, probably. Yep. Yeah, I think the Zuck speedrunning, because Ask is so impactful on that, and that's the main reason that there's this whole Slayer needs a slight tweak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did see a question was uh, from Necro, I think, everyone's favourite zero time. I think that's a pretty easy one. Well, uh, well, mine is shooting cars. You do shooting stars in the car. Whoa, Very shooting good. cars is crazy, yo. Shooting cars <laughs> is... <laughs> you're not even doing Before the nerf, it was even insane. Yeah, no idea on the highway. <laughs> but shooting cars is pretty OP. Okay. I think shooting wow. stars wow. in general is just like one of the most insane things I've ever added to this game. Yeah. Just a fuck. I think, I think Bob. Bob's nine. just like the old, like the classic. The barrel bob. Yeah, well, like mobile barrel classic. bob is horrible. Like, what, what are you saying, man? The classic. You really are from like 2018 that you started playing. Yup. <laughs> the fuck? Come at me. <laughs> wait, wait, what's the classic to you? Fucking Nightmare Zone, Monsters. man. Oh, 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 no, I was, no, talking like I was talking about fishing. Nightmare Zone's fishing. not efficient. What do you mean? You have to have 12 volts to spec transfer. Nightmare Zone's just not a thing. Wait, what, what nah, is but the question if you're AFK and Barbie, you're not doing You're not efficient. That's not efficient. Question's favorite zero time. Yeah, fucking going to the gym and hitting the zone. All right, my bad, big bro. Nah, when, when I hit the gym, I log out. <laughs> I focus on the physical gains, not the in game gains at the gym. Mmm, same. I don't, I don't, well, I'm not gonna lie. Most of the time, I, when I'm, whenever I'm zero timing, it'll, if I'm like going on a walk or something and I actually want to zero time, I'll do Redwoods, but, uh, Redwoods I, I, I don't know. I kind of just enjoy, I kind of just enjoy like just in that moment. But if I'm like watching a show or something, I guess I just kind of, I've really been enjoying just AFK cooking in the Rogue's Den. I don't know if that's like zero time, but like, what are you cooking? Uh, Hellers? Hell yeah. Okay. That was like 300, 320 plus k an hour, man. That shit. Was <clears throat> I was gonna say it's broken, but it's really not. But it's pretty good. It's pretty yeah, good considering. Pie, like, so that's unfortunate. It's pretty good. I mean, it's way. In, in my opinion, I, I would way more enjoy that than doing wines. If I'm just gonna go for a quote unquote AFK method, but I think my my favorite zero time is probably like uh, AFK fishing at the. Uh, at the pond outside of the farming guild that's always fun it's just chill except for i don't do it much because of the whole drift net ratio thing and in the website in the back of my head victim yep 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 free me free me from temple let me out do you have one zero uh, i have three zero time like i guess shooting stars because like that's what i would do if i was playing another game or something Shooting stars is just nice. It's okay, and it also benefits when you do want to play actively. Yep. Just and as an iron, I think right it up. also gives you a shit ton of gems, which are useful. Oh, <laughs> shooting stars was really. Uh, see, I have this argument in the back of my head about shooting stars that it is it's like way more efficient than people think. But like, if if you're working like and you can't do like and you want to if you want to just train that one skill mining at that time really think that if you're gonna come home and do granite it's just so just so insane you just take your you just take a level three rate and then now you're just getting the main rate i mean 130k is level three it's it's epic and then as a man i don't know someone else could quote that one but it's pretty nice also, 140. 
Also, yeah. I'm pretty sure you don't get gems as an iron. I think you still just use the stardust at granite. I am. Uh... Any other questions we've we gone? It's the rumors of Omnia having their own ESG. I'm not even head ass. <laughs> This is everybody. You can just make your own sheet. I feel. Yeah, I feel like that's probably gonna come more, come more common in the future. Yeah. I want to see them make like a. I, well, Michael just need, probably need that custom app. I feel like some people would like that. Yeah, I, I I'll think look at that. I'm the owner. Custom app or casual app? I think casual app's dumb. Yeah, casual app's just gonna devolve into how regular app has, which is yeah. people asserting their own feelings and opinions on it rather than yeah. what the group want i think custom app could work but it's just a slippery slope like skilling is already a small community compared to what it was is adding custom app which would fracture it more really gonna help i don't think it would fracture it i think people just like, like but i mean more I like it's gonna if... change much I, mean, I think, more I think like you just fans. get clown for using for, for using casual app. I think you'll, yeah. people just clown you if they're using their custom map, which is above the current custom. <laughs> like imagine someone's like, I'm gonna use custom map, and then they're just like they're just doing crystal shit. <laughs> and they just, <laughs> what I more mean is like if a do. clan decides to flip from using like actual app as rankings and using their own custom imagine app, it'll them. just fracture the community more. I don't That's think would do that. I mean, you never know, but just imagine, bro, getting clown for doing granite because the next dude's just doing Parambo on trading and that shit like that. Like, like I don't think there should be like a current <laughs> top or custom map or anything. Like, I don't. I think the only way you should, like custom map should only be seen on your page. Yeah. Like, I don't think it should be on like current top or effect record or anything. That'd be yeah, stupid. it should just be another tab on your page, not the main one that you land on. Just like yeah, just another little tab that you could click on to see. Oh, okay, I've done this much in my. Custom app, like woohoo! I've done ten hours of VM. I've got ten app rather than the heaven and a bit that you get from whatever Granite puts it to. Yeah, and then that's the one thing about that's the one thing about custom map is if like if we're having like a conversation about like what weeks we're on and stuff like that. What is this like? What are we going off of? Like, are you gonna just say like I'm on a I'm on a hundred when in actuality, like, you know, like you're like on like a, what would be like a 50 or like a 40 or something. Like if I'm AFK cooking anglers in the, in the rogues in for 0.3, am I, am I, am, you know, like, it's like, yeah, that, so that, that doesn't make it. Like people aren't going to use it like to like brag of it. I think it's just going to be a very solely like, individual more... thing. Like you just use it for yourself and your cell phone. Like you just like want to see what hours you're actually doing, but you can just so easily just How use that? a calculator and find that yourself. Yeah. Like. That's what I, I don't do think when Michael I'm going needs to do it to like I don't think it's that needed of a feature. I guess it'd be like just kind of nice. But people are a lot of work for not a lot of reward. I feel people are a little bit too obsessive with the number on the website and they let it like run their lives to an extent to where they just don't like like people will literally be like if I'm not on the 60 or if I'm not playing this this amount efficiently, then I don't want to play at all. When mm -hmm. in actuality it's really just how however you can play and maintain, I think is the best for you you should obviously try to like push yourself and learn new methods and do what you think is viable and like as a skiller you should like want to get better but like like it's crazy that like people like let it like actually just ruin like their lives like not like actually ruin their lives but like in in regards to like they'll just harp on it and like they'll well, just yeah, like, they stop let it playing kill because motivation. they can't do it and they let it kill their motive that yeah, yeah, that way yeah Mm -hmm. I'd say like uh, it affects me. Like if I'm on a low week, I'm pissed off. Oh, I can't exactly. say it does. That's just like I don't know. Like for me, well, yeah. like if I have a goal of like doing this like in a certain amount of time frame, and I'm not like achieving that goal, like I'm gonna be mad. Obviously, like yeah. I think that's just normal. Yeah, you I think be, cool. you need to like look at your your temple page uh, if you're actually serious about like achieving your goals in terms of like long term uh, skilling. Like you need yeah, to like, to to look at that and try to push your weeks. Otherwise, like I don't think it's a bad thing to care about it. Because I, mean, if, like, I Max, if you're playing I, the game this much, you're obviously going to get care about it. So I don't think it's a bad thing to be mad about being on a low wage. I don't think it's a bad thing. What I'm getting at more is I think people like don't know how to like they don't know like like they they hop into skilling and they want to and they want to just go like super duper hard at the very beginning. 
and then they just end up in the the, the limbo and they just don't know what they're doing like they just yeah, of just... course, you, you, go, you got to ease into it. But at yeah. some point when you're like scaling for like a long time, you need to like have your temple open on the side and see like when your next uh, like XP drop is going to drop and how much it's going to drop and like how many you have. St- at least that's how I played when I was actually competitive for Tour of all. I was actually fucking going Thank hard on that shit. If I'm no. trying to do a good like goal or like a month goal or something, like if I say I want to achieve like a 200 million a month and I really actually put my mind to it, I'm looking at Temple, and if it's like a goal, whether it be like mining toward the end, where I knew I wanted to finish in February, even though it was like, in terms of like how long I was training the skill, it was like I wasn't averaging those type of months, but I knew I wanted to finish. I I literally like not only did I have the Temple thing going, but I also just literally made an Excel sheet because I wanted to like know how much I was doing every single day and like yeah. not have to like go through the harp of. Uh, or not go through the hassle, I mean, of like looking at, you know, like, oh, I did this day and like editing the 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 URL to say this amount of hours on the day to figure out how much XP I did in the day because, you know, I'm opening and closing my room like every now and again. So I, I think that, yeah, like you should really like, I think that people need to set goals that are achievable in, in, their, in their gameplay. But also like once you achieve a goal, you should strive for something, strive for something better and keep pushing and, uh, just maintain. I think that's the main thing. Uh, I mean, yeah, we've I was... seen multiple people get two hundred all who have who have played way less efficiently than anything. We've seen people who have done it way really efficient, and mayhaps they didn't get to play all day every day. But I think that uh, what Max said is kind of true. Yeah, I was gonna say that there's definitely back when sort of competing for top page. I definitely think it was a lot more of a mentality if you've got to be on a big week, but. Personally, I I know I wouldn't be where I am now if I forced myself to try and always be on a big week because most of the time that would mean doing a method I don't enjoy. And at the end of the day, I'm not playing this to do something I don't enjoy. I'm playing the game to yeah, but you can You can force yourself to like things. That's no, I, think good. Well. I, 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 I already do that with a full time job. I don't also need to do that with <laughs> the game I play to distract myself. Like, fair enough. I mean, you're like in a very different like situation, of course. Like, yeah, I like, I'm not, I, I'm not on is... the biggest weeks at the moment. Yeah. I'm bouncing between like, like what, like a 25 and just over a 30 because personally, I don't enjoy plus four. So for runecrafting, I'm doing a lot of duo, and that means my weeks are lower, but I'm consistently staying on a steady pace during that time. Personally, I would rather do a slower method that I enjoy that might mean my weeks are lower, but I do it for a year rather than do a method that is technically quicker according to the website, but within... Two months, I don't want to play the game and I stop logging in. I think a lot of people have that, like, in like people that can play like S is respectable because they're able to play at a certain pace and they're they know what they can do. But I feel like certain people or like people have tried to imitate that type of gameplay, but they're not able to maintain it. Like, <laughs> they I can't maintain it. Like, uh, like, I think if I like, couldn't do over like a 2k up here, I wouldn't play. Honestly. Yeah, but some like people literally are like yeah. some people are literally like they just they cannot like log in. Like they just don't they like they get to the point where they've done fifties uh, to forty weeks for like uh a month and they, they just feel burnt or something and it's, it's like it's like man, like you can't especially like if you you have to take into account your whole situation. Like if you if you have if you work from home and stuff like that. Uh, and you're trying to compare yourself to someone who's like uh, full, t- like actually full need, or if you like <laughs> working a warehouse job or some shit like that, you know, like, and you're trying to like imitate someone who has a whole different situation going on, you know, you're it's not, it might not, it might not come out to what you think it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, I mean, you're not gonna get, you're not. If I'm doing stars at work, if I'm doing stars at work, right in my office. Like Temple's not gonna calculate that shit for me. You're gonna need like some type of Excel like, sheet to figure out like, oh, if I'm doing this amount and I'm mining this amount of um, dust every day 
on average. And then also I come home and I'm playing this amount at Granite, you know, like you're not going to get that off the website. Like, like you're not going to be able to get that off the website. So like you have to make your own effort into your own gameplay and know like what is actually doable in your situation. Is, yeah, like, you should the... know, like if you're being efficient for like uh, efficient as you can for your circumstances, like, of course, that's a good thing. Like, uh, at the end of the day, it's, and you it's did a, Redwood during busy. That's good. It's a balance of short term efficiency and then long term consistency. There are so many yeah. people that play for a month getting like 15 ep a day and then they're gone for two months. And at the yeah. end of the day, the person that's doing a third of that could potentially finish the game first. Like some people, I feel like they don't care. Like, not everyone, but there's some people who like don't really care if they don't get 200 mil all. Like, they just play the game. Like, some people find it fun just to like go nuts for a bit or just play a lot and then just like go away. Like, I feel like some people don't care about getting 200 mil all or like the long term goal of skilling, which is 200 mil all. Some yeah. people are just like, oh, I feel like going nuts on RuneScape. I'm going to play for a bit and they get bored of it and they go away. There's definitely a saying. period where I was just. Skilling, doing the stuff that I found fun without 200 mil all being the goal because I never thought I would stick around long enough to get it. But now I'm a hell of a lot closer is definitely like the That's goal that I'm going for. And That's it, how I feel. It also depends on like, um, like considering that like if you've just played the game enough, you'll finish on a long enough time scale. Like the main difference is like what rank you want to end at. And I think it was pretty obvious before the front page was full, because obviously you wanted to be like on the front page. But nowadays it's just like, okay, do you want to be a top 100, top 200, top 500, right? It doesn't like particularly matter that much. Well, it depends on how many skills they release as well. Like, and that's how I feel yeah. also. I know yeah. I'm not going to be done before sailing, if they stick to roughly when they said they're going to release it. So I don't see the need to push to try and get as much done as I can before sailing releases. Now, if they turn around and say that they're going to do another skill after sailing, then there is a chance that I will be done before that. So at that point, then yeah, I will put in a lot more effort. But right now, I would rather be consistent with what I know I can do long term than pushing myself to the point where I get to the point where I don't want to play and don't want to log in. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's pretty easy to just look at where you want to end up. And if you're comfortable with that, it doesn't really matter, like, what your pace is, as, like, as long as it matches your goals, essentially. I would rather yeah. finish in two years than go mad for six months and then not finish at all. I think, really, I just... And one thing that uh, just kind of keeps me motivated is just sticking around in the community that I have, like with my clan and like just the people that I know. It's like I get into a routine of doing certain things every day. So like I, I'm pretty like satisfied with how I play the game. I Can I do more? For sure. But like, you know, I at a certain point, it's like I never thought that I would be able to even get 200 mil, 200 mil mining, smithing or any of that stuff like when i first started playing i was like fletching at the bank type shit like you know so i think that just just playing and um uh like evolving your gameplay and learning more methods as you go along and finding out what works for you and doing the math figuring out how you're gonna achieve that that 200 those those, those milestones like the 50 mils 100 mils and so on and so forth and making it long term will lead you into a point where you're just looking at like you're at 5k 6k 7k up and then you know once you start getting closer and closer you're like okay yeah, i can finish this you know so i think that um however you achieve that is all up onto you and your circumstance but how i do it yeah. is just how i'm at right now i guess i feel like it's pretty easy to go in circles about this topic yeah because it's, it's been talked about so much yeah. like i I've, I've watched like everyone's watched like i mean a lot of people have watched the access old stuff and or the 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 grind mentality stuff but like at a certain point it's like you just gotta you just gotta do it very, <laughs> it's very individualistic oh, yeah, what's gonna yeah. get you to the end goal no one's gonna be exactly the same everyone's 
like 10 people will have the same goal of 200 mil or but the actual like fine details of what motivates them could be entirely different yeah but don't burn out questions. yeah don't go on the flat line as long as you're not flat lined it's good <laughs> don't know if there were any other questions that I saw in chat. Yeah, I'm looking at it. I didn't Sorry. think there was. Oh, if not, I'll just... Oh, Necro said, what did what did everyone train during the podcast? Uh, right up, no VM. I've been <laughs> training fishing. Sergeant, yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> the next comp badge will be Sweet a cup. The same as the last two comps that we've had. Um, the tweet we'll will go up. Soon. Ooh, to you two. The cup will go up. Or yeah. cup. The tweet will go up with a picture of the icon and more information on the dates, when the comp is, when the draft is, how to enter, when the podcast finishes, because I need to write it up. Um, as soon as that's done, uh, well, the TRDR is just message any leader to sign up. Or staff, if you want to give the leaders a break, which would be appreciated. What did you train ask? I trained fishing. I've been very okay. much enjoying it. I did quite a lot of ring crafting this afternoon and this morning. So, pretty myself. Zero? I was just going to trade foods, clicking my flock when you were talking about main HP. <laughs> mm. Would you ever want to run back a 200 mil? If anyone wants 200 mil agility done on their account, I'll gladly do it. I keep all the rings. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Which are you logged in, Evox? Are you logged in? I'm not logged in right now. I got okay. a task that wasn't really viable to do like while like speaking properly. Fair game. So uh, I was doing Slayer, of course, but uh, I, don't, I just logged out. I, I did a herb when I logged out like 20 minutes mm -hmm. ago. Yeah, i just been doing Driftnet, making money on the side. Hey, you 17 rings? That is backwards. <laughs> <clears throat> awesome well thank you very much everyone for listening thank you very much for the guys that volunteered to put the evening to or morning for Istra to come and talk on the podcast uh we will be putting this up on youtube whenever my internet uploads it uh but apart from that thank you very much and have a good evening shout out to cram bye <laughs> shout out to kill zone right, good night kill zone needs to be on next podcast man we need uh, the, the we can try. chat accent. Where, where? Where, where? Where, where? Where, where? All right. Y'all fucked up. I better leave my man alone. <laughs> Peace.